So what can we do to, to look at our, um, our processes and analyze how we work? Well, Microsoft My Analytics um, is AI powered and uh, it helps people, employees, become more efficient by making suggestions to assist them in setting aside things like focus time and creating good habits. And again, this is part of your Office 365 as well. And let's just take a look here real quick at my analytics. So here's my analytics place, uh, page. Please be take it easy on me. Don't, don't be too hard here. Uh, so this is looking at my patterns over the last four weeks. So it's looking at my focus time. So focus time is any time I have two hours or more that uh, I've spent on a task and I'm not interrupted. And so it's reading, it's getting all of this information uh, from my activities that I perform while I'm working uh, and because we're in Office 365. So it knows when I e read an email, it knows when I open it, when I reply to it, how long that email was, was open that I was reading it. It knows my schedule, so it knows what meetings I have on my uh, my schedule. Um, it, it knows uh, when I'm working on documents and uh, editing documents. So it, it has a lot of information about what my workday looks like. So uh, in this focus time area, you know, it, it even has a link here to where I can click here and it'll take me to a stage where I can, it'll walk me through making more time to focus. Uh, well-being, this is this is basically understanding that you need time off and time away in order to recharge and if, uh, and we need that in a consolidated state in order to take care of ourselves. And then of course that network of uh, people that we work with that I'd mentioned earlier, it, it gives me an overview of this. I've got 77 active collaborators that I've been working with in the last four weeks. And then of course collaboration, how much time am I spend working with others uh, and and are there habits that I can take that will or develop that will help me be more efficient there. And then down here we can, there's links to get more suggestions. So let's say, for example, I can click view suggestions here and it gives me suggestions to protect time during your work day to make progress on important documents. Try using the Insights Outlook add-in to book focus time in your calendar. Uh, new collaboration. So consider making these contacts as important or marking them as important to stay up to date. And so we'll, we'll talk about important uh, contacts when we get down to that part. So let's take a look at the focus. So this actually shows me what the last four weeks focus time has been. The uh, light green is available focus time, the dark green is collaboration time. So this is what my last four weeks have, have looked, li looked like. Well-being, here I can actually drill into and see my quiet hours that I have. You know, longest streak of quiet days kept were four. Uh, that happens to have, I think, been a weekend that I was sick, so <laughs> that it was quiet time. Um, but here gives me some information based on, you know, 10% of my time was on meetings, 66 on emails, 24% was on chat and calls. So it gives me a really good insight uh, into how I spend my time. Network, this is who I spend my time with. So. Here I've got active, I've got myself and I've got broken up into time, who I spend my time with. And we talked about important uh, people. So here are people that I've marked important that I've spent time with as well. And then of course, collaboration. This tells me, uh, you know, out of 43 meetings you attended in the last four weeks, here are the most common types, you know, so. This is this reflects back on on how I've been working down here. Communication at habits, emails sent, emails read, chats and calls. So 
this is a tool that really allows me to be able to uh, develop better, um, better work habits.